Hey everyone, Jeff Hogue here, construction manager for Peaks of Plains Project, the Huntsman segment. We're out here today at our contractor's yard pouring some precast beams, which are gonna be used in the viaduct segment of the trail. I'm here with Xavier Larson, project manager for Huntsman for our contractor, CEI, and he's gonna give us a um, subject matter expert uh, take on this. <laughs> yeah, welcome. So you can see behind us, we got six casting beds here for our beams. Right now we're pouring three. It's a great milestone today. We got our first three going. So on site, we've already drilled the micro piles. We built the concrete columns and the concrete caps. And now these beams, there's over a hundred gonna get made. We're gonna start shipping them on site here in April and then pouring decks on top of it. Real exciting day here. You can see we're rolling out the post tension cables. These all get stressed. So the reason why we tension these is it allows us to get a longer beam. If there was just traditional reinforced steel throughout these sections, they'd have to be a lot shorter. So we minimize the amount of caps we have on site. After the beams are cast and the concrete cures, but before the tendons are stressed, the beam will maintain its shape. If the load of the concrete trail was applied at this point, the beam would deflect downward. Conversely, if the tendons were stressed at this point, the beam would gradually develop camber. Our engineers came up with a system that will allow for the tendons to be stressed and then the beams to be set on the viaduct structure. The concrete deck will be poured on top of the beam so they maintain the ideal camber, allowing for the longer spans we need that post-tension concrete provides. So before we poured concrete, we got it tested. We hit about a six inch slump. And the reason why we want it, we need really good consolidation around these anchors. These cables get pulled at a very high force and we gotta make sure they stay in place. So you can see we're vibrating the concrete very well behind us. And it's really important to vibrate through all this reinforcement, all these anchor plates, because when we pull on these, we pull pretty hard. Once the concrete on these beams cures, we're gonna stack them using the crawler crane, five tall, and then we'll bring the tensioner in, we'll tension them all, and then transport them to the job site. So now we're all experts on concrete testing, post-tension beams, um, and cables, and we'll see you next time out in the canyon when we start placing these on the viaduct segment. Until then, take care.